This video describes a new technique for above cuff vocalisation. Most tracheostomy tubes used in modern intensive care units have a cuff inflation port and a subglottic suction port. Inflating the pilot balloon inflates the cuff. Ventilator gas only goes into the lungs and there is no airflow via the upper airways. Any material that is aspirated into the trachea collects above the cuff. Secretions can be removed by aspirating on the subglottic suction port. Basic ACV delivers a flow of gas into the subglottic suction tube, which exits from the port above the cuff. Gas passes through the larynx and out through the mouth, allowing speech. The ACV gas flow has an additional effect of physically blowing secretions upwards from the subglottic space where they are coughed out or swallowed. However, minor tube displacements mean gas can flow into the soft tissues of the neck and cause potentially serious complications such as surgical emphysema. Our innovation is called Safe and Effective Above Cuff Tracheostomy Vocalisation or CCTV. A timing sensor is added to the ventilator circuit to detect inspiratory and expiratory flow to the lungs. ACV flow is carefully controlled and a sensor constantly checks the pressure, flow and temperature of the ACV gas. Ventilation or pressure support continues as normal. ACV airflow is only delivered in the expiratory phase, just like normal talking, making ACV much easier to tolerate for much longer periods than the standard techniques. The vocal cords, larynx and pharynx are stimulated by the airflow and immediate improvements in swallowing and coughing occur, in addition to talking. Any problems are immediately detected and the ACV flow stops instantly. An alert is triggered and the system decompresses whilst lung ventilation continues. CCTV has the potential to radically improve the care and the patient experience after tracheostomy. This kickstarts the process of laryngeal rehabilitation much earlier in the patient's journey and has a real impact on communication, anxiety, secretion management and an early return to eating and drinking. If you want to find out more about this project, please visit the links on the screen.